As you guessed from the title of this video, I will be introducing to you something very exciting, and it's Love Every Year 4 Play Kits. And yes, these are all four of them. I will be unboxing it in this video for you guys, as well as I will be reviewing some of the items in the first box. I really didn't expect Love Every to actually come out with year four play kits, even though I've read a couple rumors and speculations on different Facebook groups before. And the reason being is because it's been almost two years since the year three were introduced. However, with that said, it's perfect timing as my son just turned four years old. So let's go ahead and see what's inside these boxes. This one here is called the connector and it's for 49, 50, and 51 months old. And it is the first box in the year for... Okay, let's go ahead and see. Alright, um, everything here looks still pretty familiar. Let me get the angle right for you guys. Alright, um, so let's go ahead and see. I don't think anything has changed. Everything that's included in this kit is included on the back here. Oh, it looks very interesting and fun. Okay, let's go ahead and see. All right, so this first here is, huh. So, I guess one thing different is that they no longer have little name descriptives or descriptions of what these are. So I will just make up name as I go along or if it's on the box, I'll tell you what it says. So here is called the Discover Inspect Microscope. As you can guess, this one is going to be a little microscope. It has a microscope guide. Um, this looks really amazing and cool. Oh, and uh, in case you cannot tell the quality, um, this is plastic here, but this section is made of wood. So it could be interesting to see how it is. But since this is the first box, my son will be introduced to this box very soon. Next we have, uh, let's see, what's in these here? Okay, so this must be for the Playhouse stuff. Um, I'll at least assume it's called Playhouse, but we'll see what it's called later. Oh, right here it's called Friends and Swing Sets. So this is the swing set, I assume. If I can open it without breaking the box. Oh, yeah, didn't break the box. So you get all the little parts here to make the swing sets. Um, let's go and see. Yep, you get these little people to play with. Let's see here. Get two of them. Um, swing. A little chair. And, uh, the swing set. Down. Okay, what is in here? These must be okay. All right, um, let me go ahead and see what these are for. But these look like they're magnets for something. Um, it is for whatever this guy is. Okay, so this looks like this little um, lack of better word a fanny pack for your child. Um, I think this is something my son's really gonna enjoy because he sees me wear my pack a lot and he mm, wants to carry stuff around with him. But this is perfect for him to keep track of all the little items he brings out with him. Okay, there's, little, there's a lot of little guides just in case you're... Uh, usually, you know, they have just this play guide here, but it looks like they have little uh, extra ones for you now. So. Um, in the review portion of this video, I'll go over this a little bit more in depth. Okay. Alright, so yeah, this is just basically telling you what everything is made of. Um, the material and the little care guide for it. Alright, so this is the book that is included. This one's called Charlie Learns Something New. Um, seems interesting. It's actually pretty thick. Let's see how many pages this is. It's 53 pages long. So these books have gotten quite a bit thicker nowadays. Okay, so there's no name on this, um, but this looks interesting. All right, it looks like this is probably something like a to-do list. Um, oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and consult the play guide. All right. All right, so this is called the daily helper board. So I guess this is more like a chores list for your child, um, but you don't want to use the word chores because sometimes it sounds bad. Daily helper board definitely sounds much better. Mm -hmm. 
And then last but not least in here, this is the Wooden Modular Village and Pathway. So it is more make-believe stuff for your child to play with. Let me move this box out of the way. Okay. Let's see if I can open it for you guys. All right, so it is modular. So all these little pieces here, they fit together. Um, I can let you know that this is kind of like a very thick felt material. So it's not wood or plastic. Um, which could be nice that it's kind of a little bit pliable so your child shouldn't break it too easily, I assume. Uh, let me see what the houses are made. These little pieces here are made of wood. And um, you get quite a bit of pieces of these. So this is quite exciting. I can already imagine my son having quite a bit of fun with all of the stuff here. Um, but enough talk, let's go ahead and see what's in the next box. So the next box is called the Examiner. It's for 52, 53, and 54 months old. Um, it's actually pretty fun. It's been a while since I've done these in unboxing, so it's kind of exciting. Okay, let's go ahead and center this back. Okay, let's see. So, um, just like the last one, um, it doesn't really tell you the name of all the stuff that's included here. Um, I would like it to include the names. However, it's not too big of a deal as I found out from the last one that it is all inside the play guide. So let's go ahead and remove this stuff. I always wonder why they put so much protective layer on the play guide. I mean, it's nice to keep everything nice and together. However, I feel like this is a little bit overkill. Maybe this would have been enough. Anyways. Let's see the name of everything, so I will know what to call it this time. Okay, for the first thing here, this is the rhyming rings. So, let's see what it looks like. Open it. Probably... Okay, so it comes a little guide here to tell you what everything is, or I'm not sure what this is. This is like a little cheat sheet or something, maybe. I will figure it out. Right. So let's see what this is. Rhyming ring. Oh, 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 oh. Now I know why they packed it so well, so it doesn't fall like that. Uh, so let's put it down below. Oh, let's put it down here and I will show you what the pieces look like. So they all kind of connect like this. Um, looks like it doesn't matter what it is. Um, you can easily connect it. So I guess the reason why it's called Rhyming Ring is you want to find stuff that rhymes and connect it. Um, that's what I assume. Um, you probably have to wait till I uh, read a little bit more on it. Or actually the back is different color. I just looked at it from looking at the camera. So I took a quick read at the play guide. And what it is, it is a rhyming game for your child to play. Um, as you can see, there's a bunch of different rhyming words here. Um, like Kind of like what, bat and cat. Um, there's probably more in here, but the basic idea is that you kind of use these rings and then you connect them to the one that rhymes and eventually you can make these different patterns like this. Um, this looks like a fun game, however definitely my son is not old enough for this yet, but I'm excited for him to play with this kit when he gets old enough. Okay, next we have here is called the Modeling Sand Unit Building Activity. Uh, so this is the mat for a few of the activities in here later. Let's go ahead and see if I can get to it. Um, but first, of course, it comes with the book, the appropriate game. Okay, so this is part of the modeling sand unit block and building and activity card sets. Um, stuff is getting much more complicated now as your child gets older. Oh, and here we go. Here we have the modeling sand. So this looks like it's gonna get a little bit messy. So that's why they came with a mat for you guys to keep everything a little bit more clean. And I wanna point out that this mat isn't like your typical mat. It does have these raised corners here. I think you can tell like from here. So I assume like that this is gonna help keep all the modeling sand from getting or getting off of this mat. <clears throat> Show, tell, and think empathy game. All right, so I lied. This is not what it is. This is the plan ahead week board. So this goes in conjunction with this guy all the way here at the bottom, which I'll get to in a bit. 
Okay, so they have really made these things like fit perfectly in the box. So everything is all out of order. So I'm really sorry if it feels like I'm jumping around, but I'm just kind of grabbing at everything because it's the first time I'm seeing this stuff in here too. Okay, oh, this is cool. This is a stopwatch. Um, time and compare stopwatch. So I guess you can, um, best, I'm assuming, guessing, haven't read anything, that this top part here allows you to kind of set a time and then you use this timer here to kind of stop it to match the number that's up here. Um, that's why it's called time and compare stopwatch. That's my best guess. Okay, what's in here? Okay, so there's these little holders for the plan ahead week board. Um, these look like they're the same board that you get from the weather board from a, the year three boxes. Uh, don't know if they're the same height, but they look almost identical. I would assume they probably are the same, exact same. Okay, so here we have all the items that you use for the modeling clay stuff for you to play with and make different shapes. Here we have the show and tell think empathy game, finally. <laughs> yeah, so looks like more fun games. This is really great that they're coming out with a bunch of games in all of these because kids love playing games as it's a fun way for them to learn. And it's always been hard to find age appropriate games for my son. So this is really gonna help. Okay. All right, so here we have three fingers on it. It's um, three boards here that tells you how, how you can use it to with modeling clay to make these different shapes. It makes different stuff with it, which is pretty cool. Submarine, house, is a recycling truck. This looks really cool. Um, I think my son would have, oh, the back has stuff too. Well, sandcastle, robot. And just in case you're wondering, these are laminated so that um, you can easily wash them off and dry it off. Okay, so this is the plan ahead week board. Let's see if I can kind of, hopefully nothing falls out. Okay. Oh wow, this is really cool. All right, so this probably gets, so as you can see, it's labeled Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, on days a week. Um, okay, oh, nice. And then here, it looks like you kind of tells you the time of the day and then here you can stick one of those little magnets I opened earlier in this box here. To kind of let them know what they're going to be doing for the rest of that day, for this day. This is actually really great as it goes really well with the weather board that they came out with in year three. So hopefully by the time my son gets to this box, he will have a little better understanding of the different days of the week. Yep, so that is everything that's inside this play kit. So let me go ahead and clean up really quick and then we'll move on to the next one. So the third box in year four is called the Persister. It's for 55, 56, and 57 month old. And let's go ahead and see what is in here. And let me tell you, each one of these boxes are really heavy. Much heavier than I remember the previous boxes being. So um, expect yourself to use a little bit of muscles to uh, move it, if you're, especially if you have multiple boxes. I can never get this open. All right, so let's see. These are the items that's gonna be inside this box. Um, let me get you the play guy first so I know what everything is called. All right, so here we have the draw, trace, and erase board. Um, okay, looks like there's a lot of fun things they're gonna be doing with this. Um, comes with these little cards here. Different cards, yep, as I figured, there's more stuff on the front and back. So this little bag here looks like it is for you to put this board in, um, just for you to carry it around with you. And what is this? 
this is a path building marble maze. All right, so it's, these things are getting pretty complicated. As you can see here, that this has quite a lot of pieces here, and it does have these little beads here. I'll get to it. Um, there's little beads. Um, it's for you to make the marble run, I assume. That's why it's called a path builder marble maze. And let's see if I can figure it out real quick. And it looks like there are these pre made. Um, kind of just colors so your child knows how to connect it and make the nice little marble one and make it fun for them. And there are actually different numbers on them, so I assume they are different difficulty. Um, this is like one here and then two here. Um, and there's quite a bit of them. All right, so I just did a quick count. They do come with up to 10 of these, or actually there are five of these guys here, um, and each side is double. So I assume there's 10 different configuration and paths you can make. Sounds fun, but I also assume you can probably make your own. But these are just some preset ones in case your child um, doesn't know how to do it yet, as I assume this is gonna be one of those games that they can play for quite some time. Okay, here we have the book, and this one's called Jilly and Jets. This is the breathing activity, a guide for your calming circle. So this is nice. Okay, this looks cool. Let's see what this is. So it's kind of like them the. Oh yeah, that's kind of fun. <laughs> I kind of enjoy this. Um, I can see why this is gonna calm your child, as you can just kind of just keep rolling. Doesn't quite work vertical. It works better when it's kind of down flat, as you can just kind of roll it and it's calming. I think. I think this will be good. Okay, let's see what's in this little guy here. It is okay. It's um some kind of crayon or marker style. Let's see if I can figure it out. What it is? Um. Okay, it is part of the dry eraser, so I assume this can wipe off fairly easily. And this just fell out. Um, it's the actual dry eraser. And here we have, this is the Montessori Movable Alphabet Game and Language ob Objects. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Let me move this box out the way so you can better see. What's this? All right, wow. This is really nice. <laughs> kind of lost the word how nice this looks. Um, not sure if the video does it justice, but each one of these little shapes, they fit so nicely in here, okay? So it looks like you get two of each um, letter. Yeah, so it looks like everything is two of each letter. Um, and then you have... So I'm not quite 100% sure what the... Okay, that is cool. So you get all these little, little things here. You can make and spell. Um, I can imagine maybe a little kid having a blast with this. And I really like that it comes with a box so that you can put everything in. Like otherwise, I would assume these pieces would get lost fairly easily as there are quite a lot of these little pieces in here. And uh, do keep in mind, if you have multiple children, all of these boxes include stuff that are not very safe for children under three year old. So that's why these are for the year fours. So you have two children, make sure to keep these away from the younger ones. As you can tell that this guy is definitely a choking hazard. All right, so that was everything that's included in this box. So let's go ahead and do the unboxing of the very last one. All right, so this last box here is the planner, which is for 58, 59, and 60 months old. And let's go ahead and get to it. Okay. Um, these are the items that's going to be included. Let's go ahead and get this. Um, right. So I know the names once again. So this one here is the plan and prepare clock with mini clock. Um, so 
I guess there's a mini clock in here somewhere. Um, this is just the larger clock, which is nice. It actually kind of sucks. We recently just bought another clock online for our son to use. Um, he hasn't quite learned to tell time yet, but we figured that we would have the clock up so he can at least get used to looking at it. And it is very similar in that it has different colors. All right, so this pouch here is going to be for the Flex 4 pattern match, which I assume is going to be in... Nope, that is not it. This is part of the... Um, okay, it comes with a battery. I'm actually not too sure what all these little parts are for. Uh, almost looks like the little Wi-Fi icon. Oh, sorry. It makes this thing here, so I'm not quite sure what it's for, um, but it looks interesting. And here we have the mini clock. Okay, so this one is fun. So here, this is the mini clock, and it looks like you can do the different minutes, and then you can do the hours here, each individually. Um, sorry, there. <laughs> Didn't realize you couldn't see it earlier. Uh, see if it focuses. Yeah, so you have a little tab here for you to do the minutes, and then you have a tab here for you to do the hours. I assume this one is for them to practice them showing different times that you can quiz them on or at least ask them about or ask them to mimic the larger clock and it's nice that they both have the same color schemes and i almost forgot to show you that the back of this clock actually has a little kickstand so if you don't want to hang it you can have it placed on a table all right so these are called increment bars and you use it with the larger clock so that you can indicate how much time your child has to do a certain activity. And this is really great because this makes it an easy visual for your child to understand how much time has passed or how much time they have left. This is gonna be a great tool in teaching them to understand how to read time and understand time concept itself. All right, so next here we have the Flex 4 Pattern Match and you have these little moving parts as well as looks like, uh, yes, you have more cards, um, different patterns for your child to just kind of make using these sets here. Um, looks interesting and looks like they have up to 24 different patterns. So there are 12 of these little guys here and each one's double-sided and they are very, um, they're plastic so you shouldn't have to worry about your child breaking them. And it looks like they kind of go from order of easy to hard as some of the earlier ones you can see they only have use one strip of the patterns and just in case you're curious these patterns are set so you can um, let's try better with this camera you can get kind of move like this to make different patterns so this should be very fun for them Okay, and so this is the pouch for you to put everything in, which makes it easy for you to kind of throw in your bag so your child has something to do while you're waiting at a restaurant for their food to come. And just keeps them busy. Okay. So the book in this one is saw Savvy's Scavenger Hunt. Um, I assume it's about scavenger hunt. All right, so the next item here is the rover route, which based on this picture, it looks like it's going to be related to kind of the programming or the very simple statement of if this, then that. Um, basically, well, yep, exactly how I imagined it would be. Well, not imagine it would be, but probably similar. So you have all these little building blocks for it. And you would um, best guess, once again, is depending on how you build it, you would get this character to move along and it looks like there are these little this little thing here looks like a little chris crystal um maybe this camera and you can just kind of place it here and maybe transfers off to this next one and each of these little rovers here have different colors which also probably plays a part into the if that and that statement for programming so this is kind of like an entry into programming without your child having to actually touch anything electronic all right, so this is quite exciting as I have been looking into programming things for my son or ways to teach my son program as we do live in a world where computers are pretty important nowadays. So I think this is gonna be a great skill set for him. All right, so the next one here is the subsidizing dominoes. So um, let's see what it's about. Yep, it's basically playing, playing dominoes. Um, it's quite a nice, Looks like there's a lot of different ways for you to show the numbers. 
So as you can see here, there are different types of style cards, or domino, not cards, that all represent different numbers. So you have fruits. It's just a lot of different fun ways for your child to learn and play. This is great for numbers. And once again, I'm really glad that Love Every is including a lot of games. And this looks like another one that my son will really enjoy. Let's see what this one is. This is the Energy in Motion Wooden Ball Ramp. Okay, so I assume it's going to be pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's going to be using it to make different ball ramp games. So as you can see here, Getting Starter Guide. Um, a lot of different combinations your child can make for the ball. But, um, this looks like it's going to be super fun. Oh yeah. I can already open. And you can actually use the dominoes in conjunction with this. All right, so that is all the items inside all four play kits. I know I said that I was going to go ahead and review the first box. However, this video is probably already way too long. So I'm going to go ahead and do the review in a separate video, but don't worry. I won't make you wait long. It'll probably come out in the next day or two after this video. So keep an eye out for that and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that video. And if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.